So now that we've done some basic statistics, we want to go on to do some proper statistics. But before we can do that, we want to pre-process our file. So if we click on Analysis and click on FMR Data Pre-processing, we get a window that gives us some pre-processing options. What pre-processing steps you use would depend on which lab you work in. For example, our lab does temporal filtering, but because we scan with lots of slices, our high-pass temporal filter is normally around 6 or 7 sines, cosines. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we will leave the defaults as they are and select the bottom four pre-processing steps and hit go. And what you'll find is Brain Voyager will work through these steps consecutively. Once the pre-processing steps are complete, a video will play showing you the head motion correction. You'll have this 3D motion correction graph here indicating how much head motion correction was done. So we can close this window. And what you'll find is Brain Voyager has automatically saved the pre-processing steps as this CG objects file with a very long extension. So the extension just refers to the pre-processing steps that have been applied to your data. For example, size scan time correction, 3D motion correction, space domain, spatial smoothing, and temporal high pass two cycle filter. So this concludes the pre-processing stage of our tutorial. The next stage we'll look at statistics using the GLM.